Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Confrontation with me, Bring It On. I missed a chest up here. Straight away. At your service. Yes. At once. For the light. Forward. At once. All right, we explored all of that. I could mix up my party again, but I'm pretty content with what I have. Uh, more strength for Darius. Uh, strength for Nemrod. And we'll max out Power Drain. Uh, Talon. I'll give her strength. I'll put another point to dexterity. Then Hyeth will max out. That's a pretty tough call. Let's go with the healing. For the light. Yeah, I'm really happy with this, and we still have a lot of upgrades for these characters. So we have some form of progression. Sure. Keep Hyeth back for right now. At your service. Weapon points. I give Hyeth some more cooldown. I'm going to save this weapon point to max out Hyeth. Or Talon.
Got more bandages. What we'll do is we'll just follow this path and loop back around and map out this one down here. At once! So be it! Another resounding success for Darius and the squad. Understood. No big surprise there. But I'll check. I'm pretty sure Nemrod's armor is maxed out, right? Yeah. Oh man. Somebody just wouldn't use it. it. Took him so long to cast it. The intentions of the Scorpion are clear to the Akalanians. The Technomancers want to create a stable Mechasiatis clone. Their experiments, using first human genes and then Orc, only slowed down the effects of the phagocytic gene on its host. The servants of Sassius Amaris have travelled to the territory of the Red Oak in order to expand their gene library with Wolfen specimens, as their metabolism will be resistant to the Mechasiatis gene. There is, however, one part of the plan which the Griffin Company still does not understand, and it worries Darius. The presence of magicians in the Scorpion ranks. Each scenario which comes to the Akalanian officer's mind is more sinister than the last. Darius's company is finally on the point of intercepting the Scorpion expedition. Since crossing the Brano Corps, the Saihar have suffered heavy losses at the hands of the Orcs and Wolfen, but the convoy is still too powerful for a frontal attack. Within the territory of the Red Oak, the Griffin Company is, perhaps, not the major concern of the Clan of the Wolf. However, the children of the Moon Goddess will not let their enemies enter their hunting grounds at their sanctuary with impunity. Stick with the all-melee party for now.
your service. So I think this is the cliffside we saw in the cutscene. I think the equipment points were right there. Could be mistaken. For the temple. Not that it matters because I'm gonna explore every path regardless. Forward. I know it's a glyphs. I was mistaken. At once. Straight away. Kill both of them at the same time. Straight away. One offensive, one support, and two defensive. So Nimrod here had offensive slot left for strength. We'll grab that. And three support and three defensive. Physical armor there, and I guess vivacity here. Just because we have it to spend. Good. Well, I thought that beam of light was going to be something, but you can usually see the loot before you get there. Understood. Let's see how this oracle. Pack leader is probably the biggest threat here. Yo! 
Let's pull back. Darius almost went down there. I'm pretty sure the first casting of... Sentence had worn off already. But he was susceptible to death blows. Surprising almost went down because we put all healing effects on him. His own. Oh, what's it called? Holy Prayer. We cast Exorcism on him. And Sentence twice. Straight I think it's the healing from the uh, standard as well. For the night. Let's max out Talon's weapon. So we can do. Increases damage, hit chance, and lowers attack round delay, or offhand sword specialization. Increases chances of critical damage and actions, and lowers chances of being hit. Increases likelihood of hitting with both swords at once. Let me go with the more consistent upgrade. And then physical armor for Hyeth, since it was still negative. That's another one walking up here. It could have been past this little raised temple. area. By the way, Darius needs his health back. He's short about 1300. For the temple. A lot of experience, and we did not get a level up off of it. It sucks that Nemrod was revoked, because I really want to focus the Sybil down.
Anti-magic. Well, that sucks. Halen. Uh, maybe we can taunt this guy. Perfect. At once. Yes. Plus two bandages. points. I guess we'll loop around that way because we should be able to descend somewhere. Yeah, right here. And loop back around. Good. For the light. The Scorpion Expedition is finally in sight. The enemy has set up camp. Magical preliminaries organized by the servants of the Scorpion leave the Akalanians speechless and confirm the worst fears of Darius. A ritual worthy of the Ragnarok is being performed here. The magic of darkness is so powerful that it is almost possible to reach out and touch it. Darius takes in the scene with an icy stare. Absorbed by their evil ritual, the Saihar do not notice the Griffin company. However, an attack is out of the question. Even with the advantage of surprise, the number of combat clones would make it suicidal. Cursing his ignorance, after the long and difficult path that he has trodden with his companions in arms, Darius cannot envisage their mission ending in failure. The search of the laboratory SO-426 and the discovery of Sassia Samaris's plans seem a lifetime away. Darius thinks back to all the journals hastily deciphered in the laboratory archives the Acheron Spellbook. The archives contained a spellbook which described this ritual. The Saihars are in the process of invoking a portal of darkness. Once the ritual is over, a passage will open through which will surge all the reinforcements that the Scorpion Vats can produce. The Scorpion is about to pour into the forest of the Red Oak. See if we can keep Darius alive. I don't see it happening. But you never know. There we go. Alright. Now the odds are definitely in our favor. Uh, the pack leader is going to fear us. The vessels do a ton of damage, so I'm going to try and focus this, them down instead. Kill another Vestal, so it's just the two. And I got our little defensive buff up before that happens, so any attacks we take will be not as severe. <laughs> Could have phrased that a little better, but that's okay. Alright, take out the Vestal first. Straight away! Your service. Also, Nemrod did level up. Two points. Uh, another point into Wisdom.
at your service. Forward. Two armor and one weapon point, so we can max out Hyeth's weapon. Right, so magical sword specialization increases wisdom and lowers cooldowns, or offensive sword specialization increases damage, hit chance, and lowers attack round delay. Right, he is purely a support character. We're going to focus on that. Uh, what do we have here? Mana, faith. I'll just we'll grab the faith. Two armor points, so we can't quite max out his armor, but we can give him more cooldowns. And vivacity. Oh, and uh, another point to wisdom. Straight away. For the night. All right, so ritualist is a new enemy type. So I'm gonna focus the oracle down. That was a terrible heal. Heal up Darius a bit. Oh shoot, forgot to make my POD joke. For the temple. They said that the uh, Sahars are going to open up a portal of darkness, and I was going to say, oh no, a POD. They're going to unleash the youth of a nation on us. Alright, take out the Sybil. Sybil. There we go. So actually, I should probably taunt the Ritualists. We know they have that heal and that AoE spell. So there's their camp. They said we can't attack it head on yet. But I mean, we can, we just walk right up there. I wonder how we'd fare. Probably better with our other party. We had Zelia, Lothair, and Nekis. Once. 
so I don't think we can cross that water. We have to go this way. Also, we've knocked out a good portion of this map, too. So we're gonna go up this way, probably circle back down here. At your service! Good news is since we have to wait on Virtue to get our health back, all of our abilities come off cooldown before we push too far forward and have to fight the next group of enemies. So, in a inconvenient way, it all synchronizes well together. Yes. Oh, shucks. Okay, Cassie's been debuffed. Unfortunate. Oh man, before she got her Blade Hurricane off. That sucks. I wanted to take out the Vestal first because they do so much damage. But the Pack Leader, probably the better, better target there. just have this. Let's taunt the Oracle. That one got a little rough. At once. Darn pack leaders, man. For the night. Another armor, another weapon point, so we can max out Hyatt's armor, right? Perfect. I've got physical. He already has decent magic armor, so here we go. Uh, Darius has another attribute point to spend. We'll put it into strength. Alright, so Hyeth is maxed out, except for a couple of glyphs. Nemrod probably gets dibs. No, I think he's maxed out now too, right? Yeah, all of his glyphs are filled out. And Talon, another point into strength. And her weapon's maxed out, except for the glyphs, and we haven't even touched her armor yet. Understood. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Next time we will continue trying to uncover the Scorpion's objective, which 
I believe we already found out, right? They're trying to open up a portal of darkness to flood the forest with their clones. Forward! Well, either way for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.